Hi, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to connect to a database using CardPress. So let's open up the software. At the moment, I don't have the USB inserted into my computer. So this will show you what happens when you don't have it in. If the license was removed, the pro program will run in demo mode. That's fine. I'm not going to be printing now. But if you want your program to be activated, you need to have your USB license in the computer when you are actually working with CardPress. So let's go ahead and quickly do something very simple. I don't want to make this a complex tutorial at all. Here I've got a blank card. Uh, I've just opened Compresso and it's a, it's a blank CRAT card. And what I want to do is I want to go to Database, Connect. I want to select um, Excel File Driver. This is connecting with an Excel database, by the way. Excel File Driver, Next. Um, just a quick note is that I have all these active um, because it's now in demo mode where you can test them all out. If you have a version installed, um, you won't be able to connect to all of them. But uh, for now, we can go to Excel Driver. Um, the Excel Driver works with uh, version XS. If you have CardPresso XS, you'll be able to connect to an Excel spreadsheet. XXS and XXS Lite uh, are not able to connect to an Excel file. Um, but let's assume this is XS or higher. You go Next. Uh, you browse for um, an Excel spreadsheet file. I'm going to go to my desktop. I've set up this little design, this example project. Uh, I want to go into databases and I've got this person database number one. And it's got these fields in the database. Um, uh, and I'm going to connect to that that table uh, with these fields in the database. And I'm just I'm I'm kind of just clicking through these because it's it's all pre-selected correctly. I want to arrange them by Excel row. I don't want to filter any of them out. I want to order them by Excel row and finished. And now we're connected. As you can see on the right here, we've got person name, position, employee number, per person barcode, and I can go through the database and I have different people in the database like that. So I'm going to go to the first record. And what I want to do is just set up a quick design uh, for this for this card. So I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to put in a piece of text. I'm going to say font auto adjust always. And I'm going to say the the source of this text is a database. The person, it's going to be this table and the column is going to be person name. So there we go. Um, I am going to put in another piece of text just below that. And I'm going to say the source is always font auto adjust and it is also a database link and that must be the person's position and I'm basically just going to put in all the info uh, from the database into this card employee number there we go um, what I can do then is I can quickly grab just a little uh, barcode and say the source of this barcode is a database link uh, the barcode there we go and you can go edit that as you wish and here comes the tricky part you want to link a field to the database so you want to click on database image or any image for that matter but uh, I'm just gonna say this is my image area um, and I want to link this to the database so what you have to do is you have to create the thing then you have to click outside and go here to database and find what what will be your um, image field in your database so I know that person photo is links is links to my photos um, but that's how I explained it using the e-media but um, but CardPresso works slightly differently so how it works is you have to right click on that field that you want to be have your photos and you have to go down to indexed image and say that the source folder of your images uh, you have to actually go and tell it where your source folder is so uh, I'm gonna create a new source folder I'm gonna go to my desktop I'm gonna go example project and I'm gonna create a new folder I'm gonna call it photos okay and let's say select that folder so the photos folder is my folder okay and I'm gonna say okay um, close and now I have to refresh the database and it's picking it up because there's a link here to um, where the photo is stored on the computer. So I can flick through this now and all the photos that I took earlier will be linked to the database. I just want to make a quick note about how to um, capture a photo. So here I've got a database linked with various um, people in the database. Um, I could go and on this button and press add new 
um, database record. So I can type in the person's name. Let's say it's Stephen Hobbs. And let's, um, the person position would be CEO or something or whatever. Uh, let's just add a person number, a barcode. I haven't added those links on the card. But then if you want to capture a photo for this guy quickly, you can just double click over there. And go to the capture photo field. Find the photo. Take it. And select it for there. There we go. And then you can save the record. And then it would be saved to the database, as you can see. So I can now go to my database view. And I could say, uh, you know, let's select all of them. And when I click on print, got the correct printer selected. I can say, I've got various selection of how to print from card press. So and I could say the range from the start record. Uh, I want to print a total of three records. I want to print the selected records in browse view. This is browse view. So I've selected them all. This will print them all. Or I can print a conditional print where I say, you know, the person's name. Or, you know, let's say the, the uh, person's photo is not null so saying that if they have a photo connected print them if not then don't print them um, and that's about it if I click OK it'll print the cards and that's card presser for you um, quite simple but uh, there we go